All right, we're going to take a look at how to create a random test from a bank of questions. So here I have um, 42 questions from the civics questions for the naturalization test. And suppose I wanted to pull five of these questions at random. We're going to look at a way to do that. All right, uh, we're going to use Autocrat uh, as an add-on. And we're also going to use functions like VLOOKUP and RANK and RAND to do this. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to insert a column here to the left. And I'm just going to generate a random number using the equals RAND function. All right. And that's pretty straightforward. Um, what we'll do with this value then is just double click on that fill handle and it'll copy that same function all the way down. What we're going to do with that then is let me insert a column to the right here. We're going to rank these values in order. And then once we rank them, we're going to pull in questions one, two, three, four, and five based on their rank. Now, the random function, every time you work in a spreadsheet, change something, or refresh it, it reevaluates this random function. So it's going to constantly uh, change the rank, which is what we would want to happen for this truly to be a random uh, selection of questions. So let's use the rank function. It's equals rank. And what value do I want to rank? It's this one. And what's the entire data set? Well, the data set goes from B2 all the way down to wherever. So let's just call that B2 uh, Oops, down to the end of column B. I don't know what that last cell is. It doesn't matter. But we want this to be locked in at the number two. We want it to always start with B2. So I'm going to put a dollar sign there. And the last piece is, do you want it in ascending order? Put the number one. And that's fine. So this value here, seven hundredths is ranked four at fourth out of all of these values here. Let's just bring this function all the way down um, and rank all these numbers. Once again, just double click the fill handle to do, to do that and control shift E if you want to center align. Okay, so we have these all these values ranked now. Uh, this is the uh, smallest value and 42, this is actually the largest value. So they're all ranked. All right, so let's make another sheet here called we can call this random questions. And we're going to pull in five of these. So I'm just going to put one, two, three, four, five. And this is actually going to be the rank number I'm going to pull in with a V lookup. So in B1, let's do an equals V lookup. And I want to search for the number one in that rank column on the other sheet. So I'm going to put a1, comma. Now it's asking me, well, where should I search for this number one? Let's go to the question bank. And we're going to search in this rank column. All right, so I'm going to highlight columns A and uh, C and D. That's where I want you to search. Search in column C. And when you find it, return the second column. That's how VIA lookups work. So find whatever you're looking for. And then the first column is column number one. The second column is column number two. That's what I want to return. So the index is a number two. Return that. And I'm going to put false here just so it does exactly that. It looks for exactly the number two and returns that question related to number two. And press enter. All right. So who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? And I can refresh this page, and you'll see it keeps changing these. What we want to happen now is this: we want this V lookup to happen for the numbers two, three, four, and five. So just double click your fill handle here. And there I have five random questions generated. And I can press Control R. And I can keep doing this. All right, now what we need to do is create a template for these questions to go into. All right, so create a new document. And we're going to use merge tags, which Autocrat will use um, to merge the question with the problem number. So let's give this a name new civics test and we'll put some tables on here just to make things easy name date civics test and leave that one open all right and i like putting things like this into a table so insert a table we'll put the question in this first cell and use the double chevrons to show um, that you want 
that question number one to go there. Put a couple blank spaces here for kids to write their answer. All right, and we're just going to duplicate this for three, two, three, four, five. All right, I think that should be it. All right, let's jump back to the spreadsheet and we're going to merge our spreadsheet with Autocrat uh, using Autocrat to this document. All right, so to run Autocrat, you need to run the get to add-ons and have Autocrat or go to get add-ons if you don't have it. The problem with Autocrat is that it's not going to be able to read this data going up and down like this, uh, going vertically. It needs to be transposed horizontally. So let's just create another function here, another sheet called transpose and transpose that data equals transpose. What do we want to transpose? We want all of this. All right, and now we have uh, Autocrat will work now to align question number one with uh, the problem number one and so forth. So go to add-ons, Autocrat, And we're going to start a new job here. And it's going to ask for the job title. Let's call this civics test one. Hit next. And it's saying we got to make a template. Um, you can create one or let's just pull it from drive. Let's pull the one I just created, the new civics test document right here. Hopefully that comes up at the top. There we go, and hit next. And now from that document, it's pulling in those merge tags. So it found the, that number one double chevron, it found this right here, and it's asking, you know what, let's look at your transpose sheet. That's the one we need to pick. And when we look at that transpose sheet, what do you want to be replacing this double chevron number one, this merge tag? I want you to map column one to that, meaning wherever you see this number, this number one, let's put this question there, all right? Um, for question number two, we want that to come from column number two. Column number three, column number four, and then column number five. All right, hit next. Uh, file name, let's call this a VIX test. I think we'll call it test one, that's fine. Keep it as a Google Doc, that's fine. Hit next. Uh, the destination folder, let's change that. And I created a folder called Test Bank of Problems. Let's just use that. And you don't, none of this stuff really matters. You're not setting a, a trigger or anything like that. Just hit save. And then once this saves, we're gonna run the job. You have to, this just sets up your conditions. You actually have to run the job then for it to make the document. So just press play. And once this is done merging, we should see this test created in this folder. All right, so right now I only have this spreadsheet. All right, so the job just finished. Let's go into this folder and here's my civics test one. Let's open it up. And there are my questions. All right. Now, if you want to make another test, uh, the same test bank, if you, you could go through this whole process again, but watch, I'm just going to uh, refresh my spreadsheet and you can see these questions are changing in the back. Just edit the job and just change this to like, civics test two and hit save. And then you can run it again and it'll create a whole new test. All right, so let's hit play again to run this job. All right, this job just got done running. Let's go back into my folder. And there it is. Now, I kept the same title, the same name, just change the name. All right, but you'll see that. Remember, this was test one who lived in America. 
what is one important thing? So the different tests. So you could rattle these off pretty quickly. And it's, it's really beneficial if you're making like a 20 question test. Um, you know, five was pretty straightforward. You could have just done that by picking problems out of a hat. But if you're doing 20 or 30 questions, uh, this would be a huge time saver.